Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's episode of another Disney podcast. I would tell you the number, but I have no clue. It's 50 something. And this week's show is going to be a little bit different because Brandon has decided to abandon us and he's headed to Magic Kingdom. So we're going to do a little bit different of a show. We have a guest, one of our favorite guests, who is um, a repeat offender, if you will, that's going to be joining us, but I'm not going to tell you who yet. Stay tuned and get ready for some fun. This is another Disney podcast production. Okay, so without any further delay, this gentleman has been on the show before, but I will say this, since he's been... On the show, he's been back to Walt Disney World to to visit it for the 50th, and it's none other than one of my favorite human beings on the planet, Rob the Fuzz. What's up, dude? What's up, Dave? Thank you so much for having me on. Hey, come on. I'm jealous. He's at the Magic Kingdom. Come on. That's I awesome. know. <laughs> well, he can't be. we can't be too jealous. He lives like eight minutes from the flipping park. Whatever. That's awesome. Well, but we still thanks, love you, Brandon. Man. Kind He's of. Having fun. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah. He's having a blast. So. Yeah. So Brandon how have things best. been, man? New year, new Good. you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a Disney guy. It's, it's, I'll be honest. It was a little embarrassing. Like, you know, I haven't been to Disney World since 2017. We're talking before the show. And, uh. You know, I had to make it there. Like when you were there, I was so jealous you guys were there on the actual day, which was awesome. Then you guys came on my show, which was great. I really appreciate it. But I love following you guys and hearing all your adventures and stuff. And I had to be back. So, you know, the goal, my goal is I I hit the big 5 0 uh, last year. And the goal three years ago was to stay at, you know, the the Star Wars hotel. You know, that's what it was going on and everything. And that came and went. But ironically (laughs) now it's it's ironically it's opening up soon. Yeah. A week or two weeks from now, whatever the air date is. And you know what instead we said things were good in the world. Let's go to Disney World, you know, and and we went to Universal too. We did Universal two days. Disney World four days and we we had a blast. It was so much fun and excellent. It was so good. I'm so happy to go back. So you know, we'll get to that. We'll get to stories. We'll talk about it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got to make it. Like, and it's, we'll it, you know, yeah. it's, I mean, and it's cool. Like, I mean, if I encourage anybody who hasn't been in a long time, I mean, now's a great time to go, right? You've got the 50th. Everything looks real pretty. Like, everything has a new, fresh coat of paint. Everything's shiny. The castle looks amazing. There's some incredible new shows that are going on. It's kind of like, but, but don't rush because you physically have like three calendar years. It's 18 month long celebration that just started in October. So you got plenty of time. Yes. Um, but yeah, we wanted to go and just be those Disney nerds that were there day one and it was great. It was worth it, but gosh, it's so different. Even now I, I can guarantee you the, the 50th merch that you saw when you guys were there, wasn't there when we were there. They just keep releasing it oh, in waves. We're, we're wide three seconds. It wasn't there. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> Crowds are crazy. He didn't have anything. Here's my wallet. Here's my money. We'll get to that. But take my money they didn't have like all that stuff you showed me Dave, wow. all that cool stuff you had the shirts everything they just didn't have anything wow we'll go over it but i was very disappointed yeah they, they were kind of they could Spoiler. be picked plain the, the crowds have been insane okay so let's let's yeah. let's talk a little bit about this so been 2017 since you've had like a multi-day visit to walt disney world and so the whole family went yes Yep. My okay. And my nephew Frankie. Frankie's been on my channel. Yes, I have Frankie watched Friday, videos with so. Frankie. Yes, and Frankie went too, which is great. You know, back in 2017, we went with him and his family, and you know, we kind of vowed that you know we would go to Universal Studios together one of these days. And he's never he never been there. And um, poor kid though, he's been to Disney three times now. He actually went he went between we went in 2017. He went right you know he went right before the pandemic hit. I think he literally was there the week. The, the you know everything hit the fan maybe the week before oh gosh you know covid was around they just didn't even know about it right, you know, he right. did go i feel bad for him too three times three times splash mountain was closed so he's never oh. been on splash mountain what's the eye like he didn't even go like the same times he went wow. like all different times we went november january i think he went in february and it was just every, every time, time. He's been on this yeah. ride so he's a little bummed about that which but is brandon's awesome. so much favorite that's brandon's favorite attraction yeah, it's one of my favorites yeah it's great i mean it's awesome because it's like a it's like a 15 minute ride like it's fantastic it's like it's like something you can just sit back and enjoy and it's like got thrills and spills and water yeah it's fun it's definitely definitely a cool ride okay so i want to talk about this it's disney's 50th and you went for your 50th 
Can we yeah. be honest? If people are watching the YouTube version of this show, Rob barely looks 35 years old. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, take that for all of its worth. It. I'm only 19 and look how old I look. <laughs> yeah, I was born in, in January 30th, 1971. It's my birthday. So I'm a little older than Disney World itself. A little but- bit. Um, just it's just kind of cool, like on the merch and stuff. Your birth year is on there and everything, so I love that. You know, yeah. it's a cool thing to see. That is, but, that, um, is that is funny. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. They they, they highlight nineteen seventy one a lot, yeah. so, which is kind of, especially with the fiftieth merch. But so yeah, you so. went you went January ish, right? We went January fourteenth to January twenty second. Okay, yeah. all right, great. And then yeah. so I, I right before my birthday. I mean, but, t- in in pre-pandemic times and normal world world times that was a pretty slow Gold. time because that's is that post um walt disney world marathon or pre or it was after it was the week yeah. after so you week typically after. that's kind of and, you know it was martin luther king day right right there is that we went we went on we went friday night which is bizarre we, we surprised our kids we told our kids 3 30 on friday hey you're going to disney world we're on a plane at eight so we did it to them in 2017 we did it again which was awesome I they love loved it. it they flipped out we got there by the time we, we went to an airbnb which is awesome but how we got the airbnb and i'll talk about that too um it was like midnight or whatever so that day was shot but um so you know so we went saturday sunday monday was martin luther king day so you know, that was a little bit crowded that's understandable but sure Lo and behold, you know, I wanted to save the studios and Magic Kingdom towards the end when I thought it was going to be less crowded. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, Dave, it was like it was Christmas week. It was that crowded. <laughs> Golly. So, come on, uh, January like 20th, 21st. You would think it would not be crowded it's at all. Nothing's going on. Oh, we went to Epcot the second day of the um, Arts Festival. So, um, I can say that was arts, new. So yeah. It was really cool. I did get to see a lot of YouTubers I know. Oh, uh, fun. I saw Resort TV Wanda. I, I met Josh and uh, Mouse Talk, and I saw um, Jim from More Sunshine Please. Awesome yep. guy. We hung out. And, um, I, I got to see a lot of cool different people because it was the day after a festival of the arts opened. So there were a lot of people reviewing right. stuff. Yep. So I, I did, my wife's like, uh, "What's you're seeing all these people. What's going on? I'm like, don't <laughs> worry. It's just a special day. Yeah. That's why we saw all these people. So It's early. It's early in the event. Everybody yeah, wants to yeah. cover, capture it first. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, that is my favorite of all of the festivals. I love awesome. that one. I think, I think we... No, I think we, I think we did see that one before. No, it wasn't the first time I was at that one, but I, it was I love cool, it. So. Yeah, I always cool. get some signed artwork when I go, and there's a couple. Not that if you're yeah, watching, I, I love like, your collection. Right there, there's one. <laughs> you can see the corner of it. <laughs> I do love your collection. Every time I, I'm on Dave Shaw, I'm like looking at his artwork. <laughs> just looks so awesome. I don't need to switch up the set Very and go cool. that way because we got some. We got some Tom Whalen. If you don't know Tom Whalen, look it up. And I think it's W H A. Like the, his his art is ridiculously cool. Yeah, he's awesome. Okay, so four or five oh, days yeah, in the park. Insanely crowded. Insanely crowded. Yes. What are you gonna do? Is what it is. So. Yeah. Man, okay. But did it feel good <laughs> to be back? Did it feel different because it was fiftieth, yeah. or did it feel different because it was just been since twenty seventeen? Uh, well, you know, it, the good thing was there was a lot of new stuff I didn't even see. You know, okay. I, last time I was there, two thousand seventeen was the full time we're there. That's a little bit of a lie because I did went to a wedding in two thousand nineteen. Um, I tell this story all the time. We literally went to disney hollywood studios for six hours and we went to the wedding, <laughs> we left, we left <laughs> the wedding which was awesome so we had a little we had the day so you know what was nothing was going on so my friend don and richie who actually i saw on this trip too they were awesome i went to visit them and sam and samantha um we went with them um to to um to galaxy's edge but the, okay. the worst part was and i think i've told you dave like it was 16 or 17 days before Rise of the Resistance was open. So we went pre Rise of the Resistance. Oh. It was so annoying. So I literally went up to the lady. I'm like, are they doing previews today or anything? So you know, I've been to Galaxy's Edge. We literally, that's pretty much all we did. We went to Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I walked around. I'd never been to Toy Story Land either. So it was cool yeah. in 2019 to go see Galaxy's Edge, Toy Story Land. But but Rise wasn't open, which was, that was so. Oh. Man, I've been I've been avoiding Rise of the Resistance for like two years until I finally we actually got to ride it. Um, we had a pass first thing. Um, it was shut down, so they gave us another paper pass, which was gold. So I got to ride Rise of the Resistance nice. twice, which was awesome. I was so happy. And um, 
it was great to, to see Rise of the Resistance. You know, obviously, I think that's one of your favorite rides, right? The, yeah, I mean, it's breathtaking. The, the technology, the yeah. not to spoil it for those that, but just how it takes you through the story. And it really is a story from, yeah. and you don't even realize it like when you get to the be uh, end of the queue beginning of the ride however you want to call it like you're like oh oh we're we're in it now okay dang and yeah. then you go from uh, one area to another area and you're like oh this is concerning and then you go outside and you're like what is happening <laughs> so yeah i don't want to blow it for those of you but yeah, it is you, you, it is something else it's very well thought out yeah but i love you know i've been to tokyo disneyland uh, Disney Sea, and my favorite all-time ride was the Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot ride because mm -hmm. it was a trackless ride. I went on that in 2005 or whatever, so long ago, and you know, for me to go on three new trackless rides was is right. insane because I never rode. Well, Ratatouille just opened. Mm -hmm. I never rode um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. So to, to ride three trackless rides, I was blown away. Yeah. So that was come on, that alone was worth the trip yeah. for me. You know what I mean? We got to ride. Um, Mickey and Minnie twice too, and we did Rat Tattooy. So, I, I I don't know if when you went on Rat Tattooy, did you wear your glasses? <laughs> I was so I didn't even wear my glasses. I was just so enamored by the the technology and everything. I forgot to put my glasses. Yeah, I, I did because we we or are yeah. so fortunate to have been able to experience it in Paris. But it was like we saw it in oh, 2019. Right. It had been there for yeah. years and years yeah. and years. Yeah, yeah, this was you. like a shiny new fresh coat because yeah, yeah. we actually went for we were able to go. We we actually moved our 50th trip up one day to catch the last day of annual pass preview. And so it was nice wow. to, you know, everything was brand spanking new. And of course we didn't have to wait in line for more than 10 minutes probably. And so I did because I just wanted to experience everything. Cause it was like, right, it's right, never going right, to look right. this good again. It's never going to be this pretty, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's never going to so not cool. break down, you know, like it is in the future. And, but yeah, it's so funny. To, I love that you talk about the trackless rides. Cause you know, I would watch whether it be your channel or just watch ride videos on YouTube. And I was like, Disney World is so far behind. When are we going to get all these? And now, bam, yeah. we got three. And so, yeah. like, it is nice to see us catching up a little bit. Yeah, and I got to see Tron. I got to see the little preview. Whenever they finish that. I'll tell you what, though. Like, I went a month and a week, maybe, when I saw it. No, it's, it was exactly when I saw this. It was a month later. One month from the time I saw the Tron construction till like, I just saw a video yesterday. It's so coming along great tron looks amazing like the i whole, can't wait they were just starting like whenever you watch stuff on like live streams or tron construction or you know um tta uh rides and you see tron i never ever see anyone working on that ride i'm like when are they going to work on this ride <laughs> and when i went there was there was a i saw like 20 people working on that ride out front and everything i, I never saw anything and then between a month ago and then this week I saw another update that the roof's almost done and everything. Yeah. So I'm excited about that too. Hopefully it'll, it'll be, I mean, it'll be cool. It'll good. be a, it'll be a cool, yeah. um, it, it'll actually feel a little bit like a real tomorrow land and not yester yeah. right now. It feels like yester land, yeah. <laughs> but I love the old nostalgia of tomorrow land personally. Yeah, like I too. love how old school it is. Okay. So I talked about a couple of good things. Like we would be, a miss if we didn't talk about some challenges you faced it obviously we talked a little bit about the crowds yeah. but what were some things that you weren't expected that maybe like were a little bit disappointing from your trip yeah, like like i said right off the bat you know i i saw a lot of this stuff dave bought i was like oh i can't wait to go and i didn't want to bother him i don't want to bother people and everything so <laughs> all right so get that money ready get you know gift cards all that stuff and i, I went to world of disney they, they literally had you know the the Mickey soap dispenser that does you put on yes. your hand it is the hidden Mickey. Mm -hmm. They literally had about five hundred of those on display. <laughs> For some reason, they had a, like you could tell there's other stuff supposed to be there, but they filled it in with the fiftieth part. Right. They filled it. They filled it with these soap dispensers. Let me tell you a story <laughs> about that. Let me tell you so. They actually released. You're not. Gonna, are you ready for this? This will yes. make people angry. They actually released. I don't know, maybe two or three weeks before the 50th, like, cause you know, merch was just out. They were $9 and 99 cents. Brandon's wife got us a bottle, right? And so <laughs> when we were there for the 50th, uh -huh. you turned it upside down and there was a little sticker over top of the big sticker. It was literally double the price. It was $20. 
she was like, oh my God, because I have mine on the bottom. I, I can show, like if I had an air, I can show you. Look, this says nine ninety nine. dollars When we were there for the That's 50th, crazy. 20 bucks. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was so disappointed. Like they had, they had no, no, not one T-shirt, nothing. Like wow. I'm shopping for stuff on eBay now because you know I got right. get older stuff. I've been there, there mm-hmm. which is sad. Yeah, but they had no merchandise. I was so sad. And my nephew loves Goofy Candy too. I don't know if you like Goofy yeah. Candy, mm-hmm. the sour, Always. the sour balls. No one had these sour balls. We went. You know, I found one pack at Rock and Roller Coaster of the the rainbow sour balls. Wow, it's it's silly. Like even something stupid like that. Like. Yep. Nothing. It was just bizarre. So I literally, I might have got like three or four things. Now I wanted, you know, I wanted to get a lot of stuff. And I've been to the 25th. I've been to the 20th. I, I do a lot of different stuff with my retro videos and stuff and everything. Right. And it was sad because people are like, Rob, you did more for the 50th than Disney did. <laughs> like I showed a lot <laughs> this of is true. videos, opening days and everything. And I was proud of my channel and doing stuff and everything. But, you know. Of course, the castle looks amazing. My one yeah. of my really my favorite part is Spaceship Earth. The lighting looks incredible. Looks yes. really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Tower Terror has something. It's not that impressive. And um, Animal Kingdom has you know the the beacons of light or whatever mm-hmm. they're called, and it, that's cool and everything. And and the shows are cool and everything. But I just wish they did more though. And the gold statues were cool, of course. And yeah, of course it was the unique. Stunning and everything. Now, but, did yeah. you do? Speaking of Tree of Life, did you do um, the ride in? pandora did you do flight did, of passage yeah. <laughs> well yes i did flight of passage it was awesome so i'm a big guy it's hard for me to get on that yeah ride, it's but true I, I got on so <laughs> i was happy i did it uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a running joke my nephew kind of tells a joke that the lady was like a linebacker she got me on that ride god bless her and i did <laughs> it was funny and fast forward my son is he's like six foot five or something i don't know he's, he's giant i'm like six foot and he couldn't get on. He was he was too big for the ride. Oh he, my he, gosh! He was he didn't really he he'd been on it, so he wasn't really that upset. But I wasn't on it, and I, I got to go on it, so it was really cool. So that's another thing too. I never got to do flight of passage. I'm a little embarrassed, but I did get to do it. I did get to do it in January. Yeah, so it's great. It's a, of course, it's a great ride. Yeah, it's. So it's I get to do that. One I too. still think that might be my favorite of all time, and it's just because I have never been. I mean, other than screaming and laughing and having a blast like on a roller coaster, I have never been audible on an attraction at disney and the first time i rode that i think i said wow 14 times in that three and a half minutes i was you know because it was like nobody knew what it was nobody see it's not like you had because again that was another thing i think we went through for the cast preview or I, you know the brandon got to do a cast preview i mean a pass order preview but i i that was one of the only things that i said i'm not watching the video Mm. And I'm glad I didn't because I was blown away by that. Yeah, I, I never watched it too. I, 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 I eventually I did watch it. You know, I was trying to hold out for a while too, but I, it was so cool to see it. So yeah, merch was a challenging to get or non-existent. Um, yeah. What else, like crowds we talked about? What was there? Was there anything else that was kind of like yeah. unexpected? Where like that kind of took a little bit of the magic away? Um. Yeah. You know. You, you know. You get. Unfortunately, there's just the nighttime there's no nighttime parades mm-hmm. no parades you know there's just a, yeah, there's no character experiences my son really likes that but yeah you know, but you know you know what you're getting into and you know there was nothing that didn't surprise me that we didn't get so um you know there was one you know and we'll talk about universal real quick the the ride back and forth from the the train ride but i didn't pay for the the park hopper so even if i paid the extra 250 dollars which I would have been really upset that train was down. So oh. I think it was, it was, it was back up and running like two days later. So that might've been the only disappointment, you know, with that. So, but yeah, it's, but yeah, um, it, was, it was good. But it's Disney interesting times. They, they've definitely rebounded. Yeah. Like I no longer feel like, wow, man, Disney really kind of took a shot in the arm with the pandemic. They, they are doing just fine now. I have not like crowds in January and February were, not, I mean, you had like, I mean, we've always paid attention to the calendar, right? You know, you've got the marathon weekend, but then like the week, it's like, it's like there were these pockets that you could go, right? The holidays would end and it was like, it was like the first week of January gold because everybody's there from the holidays and every, and there's nobody there. Wasn't the case this year. The after the Walt Disney World marathon, 
wasn't the case this year. And then we've been used to now. I think they were in the middle of or getting close to or just finished like Pee Wee football and the cheerleading competition. Which, if you don't know, Disney actually lost that. They actually stay on Universal property now and oh, wow. and do the because uh, it used to all happen at ESPN Sports Complex. Right. Well, they lost that contract, but you know I keep right. telling anybody it doesn't matter. They're still going to go to Disney World while they're there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah, so you got the Pee Wee football championships and then the True. cheer and dance competitions are in February. There but other than that, there. there was something there like that after we went. Yeah. Like week after. Like I got lucky because, you know, the week before was the marathon mm-hmm. and then Martin Luther King. And then the, I, I, there was a lot of cheerleader stuff that next week. I don't know what it was, but there yep. was cheerleader stuff. But yeah, it's like you said, there's not really a, I mean, we've all said for years, it's not really a dead time, but there were pockets. Now it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, speaking yeah. of, we, we we touched a little bit on some money. Um, I, I kind of told you this off show. I mean, before the show started, and I, I've I, I told Brandon and his wife. I've talked about it with my wife a little bit. I am up for renewal right now for my annual pass. Mm. I I am not sure I'm going to renew. Now, I know that doesn't make me like, oh, you're not a real Disney fan. I mean, there's tons of people like I, I doubt most people that do podcasts and Disney shows are pass holders. They're just passionate about Disney. Right. I just happen to be that nut that lives 800 miles away that has to have an annual pass to go anytime he wants to. But <laughs> to me right now, and I think we've talked about it a little bit or we've danced around it, the value like I, I don't know if Disney's announced it, but certainly they've got to be back at full capacity based on the crowds that are there, and you know everything's kind of running full yeah. full steam ahead. But at I no just, point did I think there was a limited capacity. Right, right. <laughs> but what know. is still limited is not everything is open still, and so that's leaving me with the head scratchers because we all know last week, right? And it's it's the annual thing every February that the cost the ticket costs go up and they went up like i don't remember what they were before but it was the disney world they increased their cost of their date based tickets because that's one thing people got to remember it used to be just like one price now they do it like everybody else and they do it based on dates right. um i don't know what it was Slide, before yeah. but now it's a hundred and nine dollars to a hundred and fifty nine dollars like wow, and that's just nine yeah wow. that's that magic kingdom that yeah um, so that's pretty steep, but like, yeah, I just don't rob. I don't know. It doesn't change my love for Disney at all. I just don't know if I'm all like, I mean, like you said, there's no nighttime entertainment. I mean, festival of fantasy parade is coming back and they also announced, did you see that they announced that there's going to be two showings of that a day? What was that? The fa- festival of fantasy parade. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yeah. They're going to have two, but they've never had two, And I know why they need a vacuum for people. Like there are so many people on the parks that the ride lines are insane because I mean, I'm never going to call it what it is now, but fast pass paid fast pass is back, right? Or fast pass is back. That's not paid. And so now your standby queues are, that's why we're seeing these insane like wait times all over social media is because everybody's you know we all know the how it works 800 and they let 817 fast pass people go through and four from the standby queue <laughs> that's what yeah, i always yeah. said it takes forever to get through the standby queue yeah. but like i just i don't know rob i'm a little yeah. i'm a little concerned that like and i mean disney will grow through this people will grow through this I, you know it also has got to be a lot of people have been pinned up and trapped in their houses for two and a half years right. i just want to go do something you know and if yeah. they if they were smart and saved their like pandemic checks that they got from the president like you know that can help pay for a vacation at disney world because it certainly That's is true. expensive anyway yeah, um not cheaper. can i ask you a question though like please uh, will will there be any well I know like sometimes you can buy a certain pass and then like if you let it lapse then you can't get that option of a pass anymore is that is that effective for you you know what i mean like is there yes it will be an effect right now yeah right now you cannot buy an annual pass so if i don't renew oh, yeah. I'd, i'll be waiting for that window of opportunity to open in the future so that is that is a risk that i'll have to assess before my 30 so you days or buy a pass now that's what you're saying yep um the yeah. only i think the only thing that's available to buy is florida resident like four day pack or something like mm. like it's not even an annual pass i think brandon was just telling me about it this mm. weekend when we were hanging out but I, I can't remember what it was but it was it's only whatever they're selling that's more than just like a walk up to the 
thing and buy a ticket or go online and buy a ticket for your few days that you're going to go, I think is this in-state Florida resident, Florida resident only thing. But I don't know the details on that because I don't live there. <laughs> I don't right, live so, in there. So if you let it lapse at the beginning of March, you might – and then you want say, hey, like April, you changed your mind. You right. can't even buy it. Yeah. Know. I mean, okay. I would call and just say, hey, right. I, I let it lapse and maybe I would get lucky. But, right. you know, I, I think that people like if you don't have one and you're trying to buy one now, like just like, hey, we're going to get an annual pass. Negative. Can't uh, do it right now. Okay. And I've wondered, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking that I was thinking there was a special deal you had. And you just you would have to pay it a later price, but you can still even get it. But yeah, so typically that is okay. So how it has worked is, you buy an annual pass at let's just call like we'll just make it simple. It's like fifty dollars. Okay, you buy an annual pass for fifty dollars. When that year ends, you have thirty days after your last day to renew at fifteen one five percent off. And then in before, like if you just let it lapse, then you're going back to paying the full fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all know it's not fifty dollars. I was just picking a random number. But right now, if I if you let it lapse, I would not be able to be like you said. Oh, April. Oh man. All right, I'll just do it and I'll just pay the full price. Can't because they're not selling mm-hmm. them. But yeah, that's the the only benefit is I can keep it going as long as I renew and I save fifteen percent. Which is still not much. I think the pat like I think that puts me at like eleven eighty plus tax or eleven ninety something. So it's still gonna be over twelve hundred dollars. Like so I know, I know things are gonna get better. But like to me, I'm like, like you said, right? We went there for the opening week of the fiftieth. I'm not going back again until all of the new stuff that's open, right? I wanna see the Moana thing, I wanna see the Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> I wanna see Tron. Like I'm not going back like I've already like I did it. Like we've been there for the fifty until until new stuff comes. I don't know if it's wait a sec. Where's Dave? Where, where's the Dave I know? I know, I know. <laughs> it's like fiscally responsible Dave. <laughs> If that's a thing. Okay. Um, anything else you want to talk about from your trip? No, it was, just, it was just great. My son, you know, last time he was there, I have an 11 year old son and a 16 year old Disney fanatic. You know, he loves Disney. Uh, the other one, the younger one isn't as big of a Disney fanatic, but he, he loved it though. He, he the last time he went, you know, it was, it was six years prior. So he didn't even remember a lot of stuff. So oh, it was really true. cool to see stuff he liked and everything. And I, I went back to the sci-fi uh, restaurant, uh, the drive through my family wasn't too impressed, but I, I loved it as a kid. So we got to do that. And, you know, my kids are very picky eaters. I wanted to go to a space to uh, 220, but oh. just very uh, exclusive. What, what was that? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I would love to go to that. Yeah. But I just, I just the meals and stuff. I just, I don't think they it's were probably weird. The There's nothing yeah. they really liked. Yeah. They yeah. just didn't like anything. And I was a little underwhelmed what I saw about the technology, but I was hoping yeah. it was going to be a little better. But, but other than that, it was, you know, I ate at Mexico. That was, that was yeah. my favorite. I love eating there. And, you know, it was like we did a couple things and everything that we do was different, which is great. That was the key. We did a lot of cool different things. And I, I think I would say go during the 50th. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. would say you were there during the 50th. But yeah. So, I don't know that it's really repeat worthy until they get some new attractions. But like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's worth going and celebrate. I mean, the castle looks amazing. The park is decorated really cool with uh, the on my I got to always do it with my iridescent. Uh, <laughs> decorations that they have. Um, like that sound effect. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's an interesting time. I mean, it's an interesting time for everybody, but it is hard to. It's a hard pill to swallow. And in my opinion, I don't say a lot of negative stuff about Disney, but right now, like they're charging a premium, and they just raised that premium for, and, and they're not operating at a hundred percent. And that's what like mm. is is the hard is the pill that i'm having a difficult time swallowing so that's there's my there i was negative people how about that i'm not a disney (laughs) worshiper (laughs) okay so i failed to do something at the top of the show rob and i am Uh going to fix it right now because it'll transition (laughs) well into what we're going to do and that is we um had you on originally when I originally found you, it's because of your YouTube channel. And you know what? I know you've added like, how about I let this? Cause you can know it better. Why don't you explain your YouTube channel and what it is that you're mostly known for? Go for it. Yeah. I always joke around. Like I'm the, uh, I'm the self-proclaimed retro theme park King. So <laughs> I always kind of joke around about that. Um, it, it, it's, it's nice to have, 
like I do a show where I'll show six hours and I know Dave is always on there. He loves watching. I appreciate you. You're on there. Oh, I love um, it. We, we will do, I'll just show videos. I'll be like a video DJ of like retro rides and growing up. Um, I forgot my first and I, I, I swear my dad to this, to, I saw my dad Monday. He is still bitter about carrying around that camcorder. <laughs> he's still bitter around. He's because I used to have this huge camcorder. If you're watching the video, you know one of those huge. And it, there was no deck in there. You had to have a, a a VHS deck, and the battery was, you know, this big. The battery weighed like two pounds alone. So, and, and I, I say, Dad, I talk about it when I'm on shows and on my my show all the time. And then I go like this. I'm like, this is the camera. <laughs> and he, he just gets so mad at me. <clears throat> he gets so mad at me. He's like, you know, we rented a stroller to put that camera in. I'm like, yeah. I know. <laughs> so, and they had like a duffel bag where they put the camera. It was embarrassing, but you know, yeah. God but look at all that cool content everything. you have. Yeah, they, 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 they've cool. You know, my my mother. It's probably the last time my mother filmed stuff in 1983. We went to Epcot. Uh, I filmed some stuff in Epcot. I filmed the ride that literally. I I only, <laughs> I only filmed it for 25 seconds. The astute computer review. I filmed it for 25 seconds, and that video does not exist anywhere on YouTube. So, uh, incomplete. Someone had, I saw one person had it. And the footage he's missing, I actually have it. So I actually put my footage, audio oh, footage, wow. and this guy's footage. I put together one video. But get off track here. I, I do retro rides. I, I film stuff over the years. I converted stuff and. I like showing them live, and I, I just put it on there. And I have another new show I'm doing, I'm more modern rides and everything. And I actually show a lot of stuff Dave filmed. Thank you so much, Dave. And of course, it's on your channel as well. And just I just have a lot of fun. I have some people come on there. I get a thousand views sometimes on some of these these streams I do. It's just these six hour marathons of, you know, Horizons, great movie ride, oh. uh, World of Motion. You know, like a lot of stuff that you know. It, you know, I always say don't mess with people's memories. You know, that, and unfortunately, Disney got rid of a lot of rides over yeah. the years, and I like showing that stuff. Yeah, you know, old school MGM Studios, old school Epcot. You know, like a lot of stuff in Epcot just don't exist anymore. Yeah. Look, is my videos the best? No, they're not. They're not, but they're fun. But you know they exist. I mean? <laughs> That's they the thing. Exist. Yeah, and I just I have fun with it and everything. So yeah, yeah this is retro, park retro. I, I call this stuff and. You know, I go live sometimes. We yeah. talk about Disney, a lot of Disney stuff. Friday's four o'clock. Dave's been on that show too. You know, like I said, they were on. We were live when the fiftieth was on, and the, yeah. the guys came on. It was so awesome. So, but um, thanks for that. You know, I just have fun with my theme. Yeah, park. And I, I, love I, it. I, I literally like I literally have tapes on my. I'm like literally going through stuff, finding <laughs> some stuff too. That's the best when you you find gems like that. I have yeah. four versions of Horizons. Like I had was doing a stream the other day and the guy comes on he's like i love your horizons videos and i'm like i realized i didn't even release one of them wow I, like I, I was a wise i was a wise guy kid i was listening to things i'm like making comments left and right but who cares <laughs> it's, it's fun seeing you yeah. know a little me and everything on, on there so and you really but i was that. 13 years old had the camcorder this is how innovative i was dave i brought my who brings a tripod to, to disney World? right it was probably right. another like 30 pounds tripod i set the tripod up we stayed at the polynesian I said, guys, leave the room, go outside on the balcony. I want to record the TV, yep. you know, the resort TV uh, thing on there. So I, I, I recorded that as a kid too, which was awesome. So I, I love, just love Discovery Island, River Country's on there and everything. I think Discovery Island was like three dollars or something silly, right. six dollars yeah. to go there, whatever. So it's just a lot of fun. I, lo I love Gosh. showing the, the retro yeah. stuff. So if if you things. like, yeah, he'll he'll have, like his YouTube channel is just simply youtube.com forward slash Rob Fuzz. It'll yeah, be I'll it'll be, be in the show notes. It'll be it'll I will put it on the screen. Thanks. Right now, there. I, that, <laughs> I do that in post, but nobody Maybe. has to know. <laughs> um, the, the the and he'll just sometimes he'll just show a ride right and just like hey here's the thing and he'll premiere it and he's almost always in the chat when he does that but he does what i like to call the trl total request live for like he said there are five <laughs> right, right. six hour ma marathons of you like hey you want to see a ride from your childhood you request it if rob got has it he'll play it yeah. like that's what it's so and you yeah. know which one i always pick it's the one with robin williams which is it what is it um Tomorrowland. Uh, yep. I'll think of it. 
Alien Encounter, and I forget the other one. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember it either. That's why I put it on you. It's it's wherever it's in the same theater that now is Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Right. I know I can tell you right where it is, but I can't remember the oh, time cool. travel. What is it called? Yep. Something Timekeeper. Timekeeper. Oh, brains when we did gosh, it. I love that <laughs> Timekeeper. It's my and favorite version. It's a Circle Vision movie, which is awesome. Like right. if you go to Canada, you'll see that's it. the only Circle Vision they have mm-hmm. left, I believe. And uh, they, it was a Circle Vision movie and everything. It, it came out pretty cool. They, Robin Williams was the animatronic. Uh, and, so he nailed and, it. And um, Rhea Perlman was the the five, five, five eye, whatever, mm-hmm. six eye, whatever. That she's the character. So the two of them are just really good. Yeah. So why I said that that transitioned so well is we're gonna play. It's I don't know if it's a game, but like since <laughs> Rob is here, one of the things that I talked about, like everybody, like what is Disney famous for? At least in the past decade, like ripping out your childhood memories <laughs> and adding a bunch of new rides. <laughs> so it. what what I wanted to do is just kind of go through like, all right, we'll pick. Um, gosh, let let's pick. One from every park except Epcot, we can pick 12. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> I have more than one that I would bring back at Epcot. But let's just go through the four parks and talk about rides or attractions that are no longer there that, like, if if we could, we would bring back and they would exist today. So we'll start. Um, we'll go with maybe well, – well, I feel like – I don't feel like Magic Kingdom is low-hanging fruit. I feel like Epcot is. So let's start at Magic Kingdom. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? You go first, Magic Kingdom. Timekeeper, go ahead. <laughs> I got to yeah, cheat it. Like, Timekeeper is great. You know, like the 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 Alien ride was incredible. Yeah. I love that. Um, I was it was so funny. Like I could name the other ones easy, but I'm trying to think of Magic yeah. Kingdom. Believe it or not, Magic Kingdom still has a lot of the original stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got one. Um, what is the? Uh, they had a cool one of my most viewed videos. They had a really cool Lion King puppet show. Mm-hmm. I think it, now it's um, the 3D movie. That was really cool too. I really like yep. that. Oh come on, the number the top top two things for me would be the the uh, Skyway, the buckets where you go from Tomorrowland yes. to Fantasyland. That's yes. that was incredible. And it, well, how do I uh, twenty thousand leagues under the sea? How do I forget that? Nice, That's yeah. Incredible. So that would be my number one pick. Twenty thousand leagues. Under yeah. So my two there would definitely be Timekeeper and the original um, uh, Snow White ride. I don't, I don't oh, think yeah, it was yeah, Scary yeah, Adventures, yeah, whatever yeah. it was. Like I just yeah. love those old school. I mean, yeah. you've got uh, obviously, you know, for a lot of people, it, it might be cool. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, but like, uh, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I get it. Like, go to Disneyland, they still have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, Mr. Toad was okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, to me, is Timekeeper for sure. And then, like, the Snow White. It's why the Snow White, it just feels like classic Disney. They still have it. They've updated it since um, the, since during the pandemic, they updated the one at Disneyland and changed yeah, it. To, it was like, scary. Now it's. I forget what it's called now. It's, yeah, something else. Okay, great. All right, that was good. Yeah, I, yeah. The, I was hoping you would pick the Skyway. This perfect. Uh, I show that a lot of my show, my channel. Like it's just so cool to see, and like, it, like for some people, well, let's talk about a little bit of history. So, like people think like all of that is gone because basically where it landed, one end where it landed is basically where the. Uh, Oh, the the most famous bathrooms in Walt Disney World history, the yeah. Tangled bathrooms. That's so basically fun. where yeah. it, that was one area where it yeah. landed, and then the other one was Tomorrowland. And actually, it's the base. Like that was a. Uh, if you go back yeah. and look at pictures of where that takes off, the bottom level is still there. It's the bathrooms in in the backside of Tomorrowland, yeah. closest to Spaceship shop, Earth. Right? Yeah, is it a coffee mm-hmm. shop? Yeah, and coffee shop something? is right outside of it as well. So yeah, that there is still some pieces of it left, but it's just like that single floor. Or, the which station is now was bathrooms. in Magic Kingdom forever. And they, yeah, mm-hmm. they recently just put the bathrooms yep. there. You know, so it just sat up there. Like it was like, what is that? Like, right. You would walk from you would walk from um, Small World to the Haunted Mansion. It was right between. Yep. Yeah. So it was. Uh, so there's a little bit of Disney World history yeah. trivia. Okay, let's move <laughs> on to. I feel like this is a little bit lower hanging fruit, but um, uh, at, we'll, we'll just go for it. I would bring back. I'll do my first one. I would bring back the name, and so let's look at at Disney's 
MGM Studios. That place wow. was always holds a close place in my heart because we went. That was one of the ones like we went the year that opened. So that was so cool. Me too. Me too. Um, but I'll let well, you go. Year, What's a couple things? I graduated you graduated high school, so that yeah, was, that was my that was like one of my gifts to go. Like yeah, the, I was in ninth grade. Yeah, we had just finished yeah. football season and we got in the car and left after our last game. <laughs> <laughs> well, my two num my number one number two requests from that park is. Well, there's three no, top three requests is, and I'm just going to probably step on your work things too. the great movie ride. First and foremost, the backlot tour with catastrophe Canyon this is number two. And then, um, the light show, the Christmas lights. So that is number three. People yes. miss that and everything. But you, um, the good thing is you can kind of go see the give kids the world. You kind of see the, yeah, the light yeah, show yeah. There. Kind of, it's not the same, but. No, it's good. There's a like for that little park. There's a lot of things that have been changed there, and yeah. you only picked one of mine. So, so oh, we did wow. good. <laughs> so, in no particular order, um, I absolutely, I always loved my biggest memory from the first time we went to MGM Studios was at the animation studio part, oh, yeah, where you could yeah. go back and see yeah, them working. Yeah. And it was, was just, just. I was just talking to someone who actually worked there today. Actually, someone. Uh, um, maybe a possible new client of mine. Like we're actually talking about nice. the old studios there. So bring me back. So yeah, I remember you sitting in the, the little the, show, and it was a guy. Mulan was the big movie. There. Yes, uh -huh. and so there. like uh, Eddie Murphy was voicing over Mushu, and yeah. uh, one of the movies that was still fairly new. They had all of they had some of the artwork set up there in the kind of walkthrough area of uh, Little Mermaid. Like so, that was kind of around the time that that opened. So yeah, the animation studio little walkthrough like that was. Yeah. That was my. I was like, oh my gosh! And like they, that was when they still had art. Like they were sitting in there drawing, and like I was like, he's making Disney magic right now. <laughs> I always love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, cool. So that's one. No and cameras, of course, you know, right? Would block certain windows, like they wouldn't let you see and mm -hmm. whatever. And real quick, though, I, I literally, it's just sad because I went to Star Wars Launch Bay, uh, uh -huh. you know, last month, and it's like a graveyard because they don't yeah. have the characters there. Nope. Um, half of it's closed, and and like. There was like five people in there. I took my son John in there, and I'm like, because I was I was at Star Wars Launch Bay opening day, December first, 2015. That was one of the times I went. It was so cool that to see it opening day. Yes, and it just did. It, it makes it even sadder because it, it's just nothing there now. Right. Yeah. So early like, on in the pandemic, open. that was like a area you could go and take off your mask. <laughs> like that's what they were. <laughs> so yeah, it has really fallen down the radar quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the it other one. Worse. So what did I say? So. Uh, the animation courtyard area, the, uh, of course the Osborne Christmas lights. No, I couldn't think of Osborne. Yeah. Uh, what is a, what is a third? I can't, I mean that like uh, the stunt spectacular when it debuted was like amazing. Like it definitely got long in the tooth. I never saw that. I oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it was definitely oh, awesome to did. see, but like, I don't know. It's one of those other things that like they never updated it. And so it kind of right. was like, right. you know, the last time I went and saw it, I was like, wow, those cars look like they're from the early 90s. <laughs> you know? It just, you know, it's one of those things that Disney never, like, improves. They just replace. So, um, so yeah, those are mine. All good ones, I think. Yeah, and we only shared one. Okay, next. Um, Animal Kingdom. But, but just like, you, wait, wait, hold on a sec, Dave. Okay. Back to MGM. Like, that whole feel, the whole look, the whole everything. And just MGM Studios, incredible. The back lot, the tour, mm -hmm. like that city street and everything. It's just, it's just sad. It's not there anymore. You know, Galaxy's Edge is awesome, but it's just at what expense to you know to get rid of all that that the movie magic stuff was really cool. Like yeah. even in the early days when they were trying to film stuff there, so cool to see like the planes and mm -hmm. now now that's Toy Story Mania where they had a lot right. of studios and they, they were filming stuff in there. It was very unique. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> very unique park. And that was. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, which I get why they had to change the name. It didn't really make sense. Now it's yeah. like they lost their they lost their contract. With yeah, MGM too. Hollywood Studios makes sense because it's <laughs> everything that's in there is movies. So like yeah, at least at much. least IP for movies at least. Okay, yeah. Animal Perfect. Kingdom. I mean, kind of a newer yeah. park. It's only twenty years old, twenty two yeah. years old. Yeah. The original, you know, the original Kilimanjaro Safari was really cool. Mm -hmm. They had like um, elephant stuff, and there was like poaching, and it was it had a little bit of an edge. I like that. It was I amazing. liked the storyline for sure. Actually, another request I have a cool video I shot, uh, which is very rare. They actually had a boat ride around. Uh, you can get right. on. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, that's I was going to pick that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's Sorry, fine. Pal. 
but yeah, that was that was cool. It, it was it was very lame. It was lame. Not gonna not gonna get yeah. good, but it was not really surprised. cool. That, that they, and you could even you could even do a full circle. You had to get off and get on again. It was like half half a circle, half a circle. But it was just really it was fun. Yeah. If you watch my videos too, it's, it's a little cheesy, but I liked it. Yeah, sorry, take your no, pick. it's fine. Um, one of like mine that. was uh, Camp Mini Mickey. I thought that was cool because you could just sure. it was a cool place to meet. The I always. I'm one of those ones that's a little bit less traditional. Like when I go to Magic Kingdom, I want my traditional Mickey and Minnie goofy. Like, but I like when you go to other parks or other areas or hotels that they're dressed. I like them in their different outfits because it feels like you yeah. never get to see them like this. And so the Camp yeah. Minnie Mickey to see them kind of like in their camping clothes was always super fun. Kind of cool. Um, so I kind of I kind of dug that area, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very. This is really really new. Compared compared to not going back very far and i'm very much in the minority i loved rivers of light mm. i loved it was it. a good show no it seems like everybody I talked to that you're like what are you kidding <laughs> like no <laughs> i did fun. it was gorgeous i mean it stinks that you know some of the troubles that they had getting off the ground and i think i get for some people it was underwhelming but like for what it was in that small little space and like the work it was just it was gorgeous to look at you know and it was basically like it was to me i was like it's our mini world of color because like you know disneyland had that big um yeah. thing there in california adventure and it, like you know they would splash the water of course now harmonious has that um where they're using the a water screen but like that was the first time yeah. that i really got to see it and i was like on this side of the coast. And I was like, I thought it was beautiful. It was pretty. I like, it was a celebration of animals and cause you know, that's a park you're never going to get a fireworks show in because it's got, you know, hundreds of live animals. Um, so yeah, like even though it's a little bit newer, I, I love that. So those are my, those are my couples. Is there anything I'm trying to think of anything else that's kind of gone from there. Um, I mean, unfortunately, you know, the, the Nemo show is gone. Yeah. They just mm -hmm. got rid of that. That's very recent, but it's hard, you know, because it well, it is a newer park. So. Yeah, I loved Rafiki's Island when it was newer, but again, I think that's something else that has just been kind of let go and is not very, you know, it's you know, you you kind of have to put some effort to get there. So I understand that it's kind of off the beaten path, but um, I like because I think you know what I'll just be honest. Probably one of the reasons why I like it. Jiminy Cricket is one of my favorite Disney characters, and he had a meet and greet there, and so it's like that was like the only place that you could see Jiminy Cricket. So I was like, I love it. It's my favorite place in Animal Kingdom. So yeah, but that was a little bit harder because it's a little bit newer. But we found a couple. Okay, now is the time where we can choose thirty different things because. We saved the this best for last. Be a separate show, by the and way, and that's yeah, <laughs> and that is Epcot. So I'll let you yeah. go first because you like you're a guest. So what what are yeah. definitely some things that you miss? I brought I brought them up. You know, obviously Horizons, one of my all time favorite rides. It's just was a, it just, it was a, just the, the fact that you just walk on that ride, you're never away. It's just that you could go on that ride fifteen times in a row. You see something different every time. Which just I it's like three IMAX screens, the anima, the zillion animatronics. It was just a lot of fun. And World of Motion too was yeah. incredible. I love Test Track, but that that ride was incredible. Another, I'm a huge animatronic figure guy, mm -hmm. and um, they just had tons of animatronics there. Yes. Um. So those two, obviously, and you know, just even just the whole general look and feel, the, the original Journey and Imagination, the original Land. You know, uh, listen to the Land, the original. You know, just even. Epcot in general, like the fountain in the middle, like you never even appreciated that right. until it was gone, you yep. know. So just a shame. It was really cool. So I, I can even like even the original Mexico boat ride and everything. Mm -hmm. Um Maelstrom is another huge yes. request on my channel too. I play that a lot too. Dave requests that a lot. Yep. I so <laughs> I, I just rattle off all of them, I think. So I don't no. know what you, you can think of it. Yeah, missed. so I have some I have some different ones. So Maelstrom is on my list. Obviously, all the ones you said like Horizons, um uh oh gosh, what is it like World of Motion. World of Motion. Um so my, I have some weird things. So original fig, <laughs> I love the original figment. Yeah, it was so awesome. like that was when it dropped. Yeah, it was just so the OG OG fig OG figment ride. Um, another one, I liked soaring over California. Yeah, me too. I was uh, actually just talking about someone about that too. Yeah. So that one I like, which I know it's cool, but like, and there's a re so I'm, I'll get super negative about this. There's no uh, this. This is my. 
my shtick that I'll harp on. I'm going to go full screen on me. Okay. So here's the thing. Why I don't like the new one. Does it look better? Yes. Is it the fact that it's digital and new cameras and they were up to up, update it? Yes. Soundtrack is still there. Thank God. Cause if they'd have taken that, I would have burnt the building down to the ground because I love that soundtrack. <laughs> but here's my problem. Like so much of that is fake, right? So when we're talking about um, when we're flying over the water and then like the, the bears are on the ice thing and the whale jumps, like all of that is not real. They, they've made that. And then when we go to the Taj Mahal, not real. Um, when we're like, and so that's, that's my problem where that stuff, the over California, like that was a, like, they were real people that was all happening when they filmed it. And so there was just that authenticity piece to it. And so that's why I'm I'll not a never big look fan. at that the same way again now. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> as I've ruined your lives. Um, and here's another weird, this is going to be really funny. So you're gonna laugh at me, but the land pavilion, do you know those four, um, I guess they're hot air balloons that are hanging in the uh-huh. area because yeah. they all represent the different seasons. They used to slowly move up and down and now they don't do that anymore. And like, that's something else that I feel. So mine are all kind of weird. Of course I have the big rides that I would want to come bring back, but it's like those little touches that used to be there. Like, you know, the authenticity of Soren, the original like design of figment. And then of course how the land balloons, I know those are all weird, but I'm weird. So I'm, I'm, com- even I'm like, comfortable in it. <laughs> I loved universe of energy. Pete, that was the biggest yeah. 45 minutes. News exactly. Energy. I loved it, but that's a great ride for me. Um, even the, um body wars all you know mm-hmm. the, the health pavilion all that stuff yep. just it, it's just it's just just a lot of stuff yeah it, it definitely that part changed the most mm-hmm. like, literally and then i would say my last one was interventions like i love that you could go and see all of this like yeah. future technology i remember the first time we went with brandon and krista i think in 2010 they had an exhibit where you could get on a segway and ride a segway around like what other theme park would do yeah, that yeah, right I did, I did the segway yeah yeah i, I mean it's that. just and sure. and then um yeah they had a piece of it was really big at uh what was the thing they used to have in um Disney Springs that was oh gosh you paid extra I can't remember oh, Disney Quest yes they had a piece of kind of like that where you could design like a little quick roller coaster and then you would sit in it yeah. and it would like they had that piece in there too I know they did that at Disney Quest but yeah just all about everything about interventions like really worked well with the like the original build of Epcot right because it was always yeah, so definitely. I don't know man those are my those are my things that I would bring back. <laughs> great, pick, but they're great, great fun memories, right? We can sit here and talk about them, and I'm hopefully people yeah. listening or watching are like, "Oh my gosh, yeah! Oh, oh my gosh, I remember that." Um, yeah, it's good times. Good times. I like that segment. Thanks. It was awesome. Okay, Rob, I told you hours, forty man. forty-five minutes, and it's been fi- a little over fifty or close to fifty. Awesome. So, a lot of fun, though. dude, man. Okay, please plug away what you do. I know we talked about it a little bit, but plug away all the Rob Fuzz things. Yeah, my channel Rob Fuzz, YouTube.com forward slash R O B F U Z Rob Fuzz. Um, I do retro videos. I do. Um, I go. I'm like a retro theme park ride dj i do some shows where i go six hours i just show your request and thanks for reminding me too i forgot i do take requests too which is fun and um i, I post a lot i have a membership too if you want to be a member it's, it's yes. a free channel of course you could be a member and you could see i show the videos every, they get a sneak peek at least a week uh exclusive to my members thank you so much to my awesome members and um i go live friday's four o'clock i just we have a show called pub talk uh, we're doing the Academy Awards coming up. I actually just saw nine of the ten best picture movies. I think I'm going to see the last one tonight. Nice. Um, and I've been watching all those movies and everything. So we do. We do. We're big on uh, the Academy Awards. Is coming up in March this year. Um, we just have a lot of fun. Talk Disney, um, theme park retro rides, and everything. Rob Fuzz. That's it. Yes, dude, <laughs> I love good, it. I'm not a good promoter. So no, that's good. Dave did, Dave did better than me, so thank you. I appreciate it's it. It's perfect. Uh, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with us again. Look for uh, as soon as we're done with this show, I'm going to start begging Rob of what can we do. I want to collab with him more. I want to do like he's just um, he's a good soul. I'm just going to put it that way. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Rob, I love it. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, Brandon thank will be you, back man. next week, and we'll talk about our. 24 ways to lose money at Disney World. That's not really the title, but we are going to talk about it was supposed to be part two of 
We did seven ways to save at Walt Disney World. Well, now we're going to talk about why we did that show is because everything has gone up, including like what we just talked about, park price, uh, ticket prices for yeah. the individual gates. So, yeah, man, we'll see you guys next week. Rob, thanks again. As always, so good to see you. And as we say, bicycle. <laughs>